Hello everybody and welcome back to my let's play of Medal of Honor Allied Assault. We are about to start the third mission in the game and it is Omaha Beach during Operation Overlord, also known as D-Day. Operation Overlord was a gigantic uh, Allied coordinated offensive that was spread along beach landings on the northern part of France and uh, paratrooper landings in the more in the northern part of France to to uh, help free France from the tyranny of uh, Nazi Germany. Uh, this is the first time it, Omaha Beach has been put in a video game. It's only been in there a few times, mainly in strategy games, but the first person shooters there was this game, Battlefield 1942, uh, Call of Duty 2, and Medal of Honor Frontline, but all focused on Omaha Beach because that is the one that was the most but uh, the worst part of the beach landings because of all the defenses there, the German, the British and Utah and I think Juno Beach, which was done by the Canadians, were not nearly as bad. They had fighting, of course, but Omaha Beach was the one that was the most treacherous. It was very, this was also a very critical mission because they had only a narrow window to go in when it when uh, everything was right but the weather over the channel was not that cooperative until they had to keep pushing it back and they were finally able to bring it in so let's get started on this with the briefing excellent work in Norway lieutenant under very difficult circumstances thanks to your efforts the Kriegsmarine wolf packs that once terrorized the north atlantic have been decimated over the past year by our naval and aerial patrols with allied shipping lanes secure the door is now open for the invasion of europe that we've been planning since the start of this bloody war it's called operation overlord and we're breaching hitler's atlantic wall through the normandy coast the germans know we're coming and coming soon but we've got them thinking that the invasion will be at calais well north of the actual landing beaches. This will be the largest amphibious invasion in history, Lieutenant, and you're gonna be in the group that's leading the charge. Now, we may have numbers on our side, but we don't have the experience. Most of our troops are fresh out of basic training, and they need true combat veterans like you to help lead the attack. That's why I've reassigned you to the 2nd Ranger Battalion. The landings will take place across five beaches, codenamed Gold, Juno, Sword, Omaha, and Utah. The British will land at Sword and Gold, the Canadians at Juno, and the Americans at Omaha and Utah. You'll be going ashore at Charlie Sector of Omaha Beach, just west of the Dog One exit. Although the beaches are not as fortified as they are at Calais, the Germans have left no spot undefended. Every inch of beach is covered by machine guns and artillery, and the place is surrounded by miles of barbed wire and countless minefields. One more thing, Lieutenant. Try to keep in mind that this is the largest and most complicated operation that we've ever attempted, and in my experience, whenever things get complicated, things go wrong. But no matter what happens, I believe that with soldiers like you leading the way, we will prevail with this Allied assault. Good luck at Omaha Beach, Lieutenant, and Godspeed. Uh, this was not, uh, Omaha Beach was not the bloodiest, uh, beach landing ever, and during World War II, like, tend to be commonly believed. From what I heard, the Marines landing at Okinawa in Iwo Jima were much bloodier and devastating, but still were successful. Also, this uh, beach landing, some circumstances came in that helped us go in, um, due to Hitler's commands they could not do any troop movements or anything without his authorization first and Rommel was trying to get his tanks to come in so we could defend the towns and also get onto the beach to push the allies back but Hitler had a tantrum the night before because he was epileptic and he took a sleeping pill and had orders not to be woken and because of it they could not get the they could not get the authorization and the Allies broke through before they could send in the tanks to kind of push them back, so they are, we already gained a foothold. 
this was a very decisive day and this was basically the triumph that started to lead to Nazi Germany's downfall at the end of uh, about a year or so later. This is the letter that Dwight D. Eisenhower gave to everybody, um, all the soldiers, and also was announced on, this, I think he also announced it on radio, especially during, um, for the sailors on the ship. So here's how it goes. Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force, you're about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers-in-arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. But this is the year 1944. Much has happened since the Nazi triumphs in 1940-41. The United Nations have inflicted upon the Germans great defeats in open battle man to man. Our air offensive has seriously reduced their strength in the air and their capacity to wage war on the ground. Our home fronts have given us an overwhelming superiority in weapons and munitions of war and placed at our disposal great reserves of trained fighting men. The tide has turned. The free men of the world are marching together to victory. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We'll accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck, and let us beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. Dwight Eisenhower I want to start this mission off you by the uh, same way as Medal of Honor Frontline with reciting this soldier's prayer. And when he gets to heaven, to St. Peter he will tell. One more soldier reporting, sir. I served my time in hell. Private First Class, James A. Donahue, U.S. Marine Corps, First Marine Division, H. Company, 2nd Battalion, 1st Regiment. June 6, 1944, Omaha Beach, Charlie Sector. Seal 6, 35 hours. All right, men. Move fast, spread out, and stay clear of open beach. Port side, you with Pal. Starboard, you with me. Head for cover and get to the shingle. I'll see you on the beach. This mission is actually pretty hard, so I'll be saving often in case if I die, because if you don't move right, you will get hit with machine gun fire pretty bad, but you know, that sucks. somebody sing a prayer
see that medic. Doors were like something is sent out charges and to blow the barbed wire fences. It's kind of eerie sound to hear. 
All the fire coming in from the inside. Now to the second part of infiltrating the bunker and taking it, rendering it inoperable pretty much. That's a pretty successful grenade throw. Okay. He running like that. Eliminate the MG42 gunners. Might as well use their own weapons against them. Yep, we finished this mission. And I'll call it a let's play here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.